Welcome to the first edition of Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. The Leopards are going to travel their first game of 2019 to Williamsburg, a great place to play, a brand new stadium down there. Lafayette's going to play the William and Mary Tribe, a great team. This team did not finish the season very well. In fact, they switched coaches to Mike London, brand new coach after Jimmy Laycock, 30 plus seasons, had there a lot of success. They were five and six last year. They have one of the best defenses in the CAA. So today, we're going to talk about the importance of first down and how important it is for Lafayette to get off to a good start, not only in the game, but especially on the first play of every series. They're going to face a 3-4 defense, and what that means is three down linemen up front. You're going to see one of the best defensive linemen in the CAA and Bill Murray. They have four linebackers and these linebackers are active. They run around a lot and obviously in the secondary, they're very good as well. Two of the top safeties in the CAA. So you know these two guys here are going to be willing to get in the box and get in the run. So first down, what is the importance of first down? Well, I'll give you a statistic about 57, excuse me, 51.7% of the time when a college football team gains over five yards on first down, they end up getting that first down and you know how important it is to get tempo. So if Lafayette can run the ball successfully, and I'm talking about downhill, getting the ball inside versus one nose guard, Lafayette has the ability maybe to double team, get up to the backers, they can run that inside zone. As long as they can cut off the backside, maybe get to the backside linebacker, I think vertical runs inside are the way to go. Anything to the outside, you're dealing with speed coming from the two outside linebackers, or we call overhang linebackers in a 3-4 defense. So getting the outside is gonna be very tough. If you wanna to get to the outside, you probably wanna run your quick screens, quick RPOs to the outside, find out where that linebacker's cheating in, maybe hit your slants and your slides to the outside. You must use your tight end, and Lafayette has two good ones in Taggart and Stilianos. These guys can not only wham block back inside, can get to a linebacker, excellent blockers, but they have the ability to get out into the flat, get up the seam, maybe run the flag route. These are all RPO basic plays for the quarterback. Run it, get your eyes on somebody outside. If we can get the linebacker, and say two over two here to just cheat out a little bit, that inside zone can go and maybe cut back inside. So these are inside what I call some midline plays. Again, one more thing I want to point out here is the quarterback, whether it's Sean O'Malley or whether it's uh, 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 some of the other quarterbacks there, what they want to do is make sure we got to get some running ability out of the quarterback. Last year, Grant Brenneman at Colgate, they beat this team 23 to nothing. Grant Brenneman ran for over 50 yards. It is very important for our quarterback when it's not there, whether he's throwing the ball, running the zone play or the zone read, to get some yards and be willing to use his legs to pick up yardage. So inside the box, Lafayette downhill. Got to run the ball vertical. You don't want to worry about the speed of the backside guys are cutting off and guys getting in the backfield and getting those TFLs. TFLs kill first down and that percentage goes way down. So the importance of first down for Lafayette if they can gain yardage on first down, stay in manageable down, stay on the field. Remember, William & Mary's running a brand new offense called a go-go offense. In other words, go-go, exactly what it means, tempo. So if they get on and off the field quickly, second, third down incompletions with a new quarterback, that's an opportunity for Lafayette to stay on the field. So that's one thing Lafayette has to do to complement each other offensively and defensively. So running the ball vertically, Getting the ball out of Sean's hands and getting some running game out of the quarterback this week is going to be the key getting off to a good start in 2019. Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network, down at Williamsburg.